Hey everyone, it's Mike, here bringing you an in-depth review of technology, just like this one. On this channel, I focus on unboxings, honest reviews of the best technologies available, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. So what I have here is a video mic me. I've used this for approximately two months now. There's a lot of good things about this microphone and a couple of bad things. For starters, it's a really good price for what you get. So out of the box, you get the video mic me, the mounting clip, as well as the furry windshield. It's a well-built microphone. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as audio out capabilities. So you can plug in your headphones while you're recording and listen to see how the audio is. So what I really like about this microphone is there is no battery required to use this microphone. Simple plug and play. You can use this with your Apple device as well as any Android device. And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't like using this headphone very shortly and it's gonna be quite obvious. It's intended for Apple iPhones as well as Apple iPads and use this with your Android devices as well. Also, you get the adjustable mounting clip. So what you do is you have your microphone, you have it plugged in, and then you just clip this on. And this is one of the main reasons why I wasn't happy with this product. Now, overall, the audio quality recorded by this microphone has been really good. My Google Home Mini review video actually uses this microphone to record the audio from a very simple microphone that doesn't even require battery to operate. Many of you know I have the iPhone X and I usually record my videos on my iPhone X. I'm actually transitioning from using this to my Nikon D5600. The unboxing will be up here. With the iPhone X, there isn't a headphone jack, so you're not really able to use the video mic me with your iPhone X. In order to use it, you need to use the adapter that comes with your iPhone. It gets hard to use accessories like this one, and here's the reason why. Now, if I want to use the mounting clip, I have to bring this over here, and this was how my setup usually was. So you see my Lightning 2 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter, the video mic me, and the mounting clip. Now I know that if I kept on using this video mic me with my iPhone X, I was either gonna damage my screen up here or the Lightning adapter itself. To clip this on, you have to apply pressure to both sides. So this is the stock microphone on the iPhone X, as you can see how it's sounding right now. You can hear a lot of things around going around me. The wind noises, the car noises. Now I'm going to use the video mic me and you will notice the huge difference it makes. Alright so this is with the video mic me being used so you can see the huge difference with the way I'm sounding and the reduction of the noise around me. So the intended purpose of this microphone was to just simple plug and play. I'm using the OnePlus 5 just an example. You plug it in have it facing either forward or backwards. And then you would use this mount to tighten the grip like, like this. All right, so you would attach the mounting clip to your phone. And what would happen is the microphone will not move. But having changes made to the latest flagship devices, it becomes really hard to use the mounting clip when recording audio. So anybody who's recording their videos using any smartphone like the Google Pixel 2 or even the iPhone X, it becomes really hard to mount the clip onto it. My overall conclusion about the Rode VideoMic Me, it's a really good microphone for the price and the benefit it will provide to you when you're making your videos. Your audio quality will definitely be better using this microphone. It's small, it's affordable, and you're able to take this with you wherever you go. One of the biggest benefits of this microphone compared to some of the other ones available is that there's no batteries required to operate this microphone. A simple plug and play, really great for recording audios, whether you're going on your vacation, you're vlogging, you're making tech videos like me, and the quality it delivers is phenomenal. This is a well-built microphone, now the video mic me can only be used with a smartphone or a tablet. I've tried using this with my Nikon D5600. I'll leave a link for the unboxing camera below. I wasn't able to record audio using this microphone. So as a result, I had to purchase a video micro. I'll leave a link for that video right up here, the unboxing of it. So the overall audio quality produced by the video mic me has been really good. This is a really good product for anybody who's starting out their YouTube channel. Whether you're doing a vlog style channel where you're gonna be standing behind and you're shooting from the front because having good audio quality is one of the 
the most important things when it comes to creating videos. If you have really bad audio quality, you will see a dip in your audience. So having really good audio quality is essential when you're creating content. If you have really bad audio quality, doesn't matter if your video is good, you will start to see your audience leave. Overall, this is a really good microphone for the price and the features it offers. It's available on Amazon. I'm going to be leaving a link for this right below the like button. Let me know what you think about this microphone below the like button. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me and watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.